that uh, locker room at the end of the day. And I got to tell you that uh, on the on the bad days, you might try and hurry to get there <laughs> ahead of him. Well, Seattle has the lead, 24-14 for Knox. Plenty of time, 2:50 remaining in the third. Tom Zack on a scramble. Joe Humble. Nash oh, strips it away, and Seattle has it again at the 20-yard line. And Tom Zack, who was credited earlier with that fumble, not Peyton, but Tom Zack credited with the fumble earlier, has fumbled again. The bugaboo that rested so heavily on him last week with the four interceptions he threw in the first half, six turnovers overall last week, has come back to haunt the Bears here in the second half in particular. Watch Tom Zack running away, doing a good job here, but look at him carrying that football like a loaf of bread, and there is the swat right there by Joe Nash, who just simply spotted the ball and knocked it loose. And Bosworth with his second fumble recovery. There have been three fumbles covered by Seattle in this third quarter. The first two leading to a touchdown and a field goal. Now from the 20, Craig with a 10-point advantage and a chance to really make it tough on Chicago as the Bears have to hope to at least force just a field goal, but it's Warner knifing off tackle for six or seven. Todd Bell, 25 with the stop. On the last turnover, Seattle had gone instantly for, this, for the points in the end zone with a deep pass. They reverse that philosophy here and give it to Warner on the little draw play. And there's the man who stripped it away, nose tackle, Joe Nash. I'll tell you, that's smart football. And that's one thing that this Seattle team has done better than anyone over the period of about four or five years with Knox and Catlin in Seattle is break that ball loose from their opponents. John L. Williams to the 11 will be a yard shy of a first down. Steve McMichael, number 76. William Perry, the two tackles in on the stop. Mike Ditka crediting he's going to the Big Red. That's right, the cinnamon flavor. As uh, Ditka yesterday said, McMichael, no one talks enough about him. He has been just a solid player game after game. Well, I think Mike may be chewing something a little more harsh than Big Red right now, but uh, I'll tell you, there's some chewing going out out on the field, and when you get turnovers like you've seen today from the offense, it really makes it tough on a defensive team. Big play for that Bear defense, third and one. Oh, a good fake Play by action. Craig, and but not able to hit his receiver.